Imagine using the Obsidian note-taking app as a content management system for your blog or personal website. Here is how it might look. We have a base view here, and we have views of the different content types. We've got pages, we've got documentation, we've got projects, and posts. So let's open one up and see what it looks like. We have this nice floating image here as the cover. This here, this note title is actually the slug of the blog post. This is the title. We have a date, tags, exactly like what you'd expect in Obsidian, but it actually works out of the box for web publishing as well. So I'm gonna reveal the left sidebar. You can see the structure here. <clears throat> it's uh, pretty standard. You can create folder-based posts that use an index file like with this sample folder here, or you can just create an MD file with all the front matter properties at the top. This is completely tailor-made to work with any web publishing thing. So let's say I wanted to create a new blog post. I just hit Control N and I named the blog post. Let's call it Test Blog Post Create. Here it is. Uh, it created the title automatically from what I typed. It created the kebab case slug, which is perfect. I'll call this just a test post. And I'll call, use the test tag. You can see, and the tutorial tag is why not. All the icons were updated in the front matter, so they're all matching. And I'm gonna pull in an existing cover image. Let's say maybe the mountains cover image. And I'll use the mountains and water alt text. I'll go ahead and have this be the open graph image for this post. And I'm gonna leave the rest the way that it is. So this is a H2 heading. This is content. So now we've created this new blog post. It's got today's date automatically inserted. If I go on to the front end, let's see what it looks like. Check it out. Here's our test post that we just created, rendered on the front end perfectly, which is great. So now, if I go back to Obsidian, let's say I want to link to something, one of the other posts. Let's say formatting reference. You'll notice I have a modified version of this. So automatically it pulls in the title, not the, the file name, which is great. So now if I go back here, you can see it links to the formatting reference. It's got this special underline dot, dot, dot to show that it's an internal link. When I click it, it goes to the right post, which is really cool. If I were to scroll all the way down to the bottom, let's say, and click this, for example, you can see Anything that renders on in Obsidian also renders on the website, which is pretty cool. So let's go back to the post for a second. And let's go to the formatting reference post. I'm gonna give you an example. So let's open that up in Obsidian first, formatting reference. And we're gonna scroll down. I'm gonna open this sidebar here. Let's go down to, let's say, the basic callouts and admonition section. So here's that. If I go here, to the same section, which I believe is up here somewhere, yeah. You can see all the callouts work exactly like they do in Obsidian, including the collapsible ones, which is really great. And that also renders in Obsidian. You can see here, collapsible callouts are right here, work the exact same way. That extends for other kinds of embedded information as well. So let's use the reading view for a second. If I use the reading view, and I go down to the images, which are here, you can see we've got this kind of grid layout. If I were to do that on the front end here, we've got something that's very similar to that grid layout. This has the added benefit of a gallery image as well. If I continue to scroll down, you can see the primary buttons that are appearing here. If I scroll down to Obsidian, you can see those same primary buttons. Now this matches the theme of Obsidian, and this matches the theme of your particular Astro Modular theme. We have all the rest of the syntax here. We also have even advanced math, latex, embedded stuff as well, and tables. So if I were to pull that up on Obsidian side, you can see all that is here as you'd expect, and it appears the exact same way on the front end. Here are the tables. And uh, so what, what you create is a really amazing 
convergence of what you see in Obsidian as you're composing and what you see on the front end. Now there are a few more kind of advanced things I want to showcase. Let's say you wanted to rename this blog post to something else. Well, when you rename something, you kind of want the URL slug to match, right? So I'll say test blog post part two, new title, and include a bunch of invalid characters. So it not only gracefully updated the title, as you can see here, but it also updated the slug. And just now it added, it stored the original name as an alias. And aliases are processed in a way that any redirect will work automatically. So if someone goes to that old URL, it will be processed and redirect them to the current URL, the new one. So anyhow, there's so much under the hood here. There's a quick click to immediately get into your terminal to run commands. There's a quick click to open your config file right here. Uh, I've specifically tooled this to be as intuitive and as simple as possible. You can configure all the settings in here, the Astro Composer plugin that I created. You can customize what properties get inserted into a note or post or custom content type, what have you. The alias file name history, you can completely customize the timing of how long it takes to store the titles. You can even go into property over file name and change the behavior of wh wh whether or not something gets rendered in Quick Switcher or not. I'll show you what that looks like. Let's say I want to open the formatting reference post. I hit Control O for the Quick Switcher. I type in formatting. It's pulling that title automatically. So we're not just seeing the slug, which is pretty great. So that makes things pretty intuitive. Even though the files themselves are not the primary title, we can still use that title front matter property to get to where we need to go. And all of these other Community plugins can all be customized to your particular liking. And when this is all done, you, you only have to press Control Shift S or Command Shift S on Mac. And that's going to automatically publish to your blog. And it's going to appear on the front end automatically, which is pretty cool. So if I were to, let's say, see, you can already see that the title has been updated. But if I were to go to the old title, let's say it was Posts. Let's say it was, I believe it was test post. Okay, in this case, it was a 404. But when I, if I were to rebuild from the terminal, it would automatically redirect to this URL instead. So I'll take my word for it on, for this quick demo. But hopefully you get an idea of how amazing using Obsidian as a CMS is, how intuitive it is, how easy it is. And I've just been absolutely loving this project. So if anyone wants to try it out, if anyone has suggestions or thoughts, I would love to hear them. I want to make this the best, most intuitive experience possible. I could use your help to get that done. Thank you very much. Catch you guys in the next video.